Hi, I'm Kobinamu, and today I'm going to teach you how to create automated trading bots on Thinkorswim that will buy stocks and sell stocks based on statistical triggers that you set, allowing you to be an active trader without needing to be an engaged trader. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. I have a lot more content coming, and I'll be sharing individual trades that I make with my subscribers as well. So once you open your Thinkorswim app, click on charts, select the stock you want to buy. So for today, I'm just going to select Twitter. So now I'm going to set up an automated trading bot for Twitter, including the buying conditions or the statistical conditions that are necessary for the robot to buy as well as the selling conditions, the statistical conditions that are necessary for the robot to sell. So I right click, or since I'm using a Mac command click, buy custom and select with OCO bracket. OCO means order cancels order. OCO means order cancels order. In this trade, we have two sell conditions. Of course, the stock price can either go up, which obviously is ideal, but it can go down too. If indeed we got the trade wrong and the price does go down, we want to make sure we keep that loss in check. And so we're going to incorporate a stop loss. That means that the stock will sell at whichever trigger is hit first. The sell trigger for when its price rises to uh, the limit we specify, which obviously is what we want, or the stop loss that we set and my stop loss is going to be negative 5%. So we do this to ensure that even when we do enter losing trades, we lose very little and on average keep our profits high. So when you click OCO, it will bring up this order entry query. And you click this over here to your right, these spokes over here, to set up the buying conditions. So first, most importantly, we have to change time and force from day till GTC, which means good till close. Since our robot will be perpetually scanning stocks for when their prices hit certain triggers, we want to make sure that it continues to scan until it activates the buy. If it were day, it would simply scan until the end of that trading day. Click here. It will bring up the symbol Twitter. Click method. Mark is the default. In order to incorporate our buying condition, you have to click study and then edit. All right. So click edit here to the right. And our first condition is that the price has to be beneath the lower Bollinger Band. So underneath this drop down, click price. And since we're buying a stock, the price we're interested in, or the price that's pertinent is the ask price, which is the seller's ask price. So once the seller's ask price is less than Click study here again. And then we want to find Bollinger Band right here, Bollinger Bands. So is less than the lower band. So effectively what this condition means is that our robot will buy a Twitter stock if the price is less than the lower Bollinger Band. Hit save. So that's been incorporated. And again, we want to add an RSI condition effectively as a second opinion to reinforce the notion that the price is at a statistically low point. Add condition. Hit study. Search for RSI.
And since since we're contrarians and we want to buy a stock once the market is generally overselling the stock, we want the RSI to be less than hit value 30. An RSI less than 30 indicates that a stock, a stock is currently oversold, which is an excellent time for us to buy. Both conditions are in there. Say OK. And then save. Now the selling condition. So the selling condition is effectively the opposite of what the buying condition was. So once again, click this spoke icon to the right. Time and force again. Make sure you change that to GTC, good till close. Click symbol, it will bring the Twitter symbol. Hit method. Once again, we want to create a study. Hit edit. Edit. So now, because we're creating the selling condition and we want the stock to sell at a statistically high point, we specify that we want the robot to sell the stock once its price is above the upper Bollinger Band. So instead of selecting ask this time, select bid, which refers to the bidding price of buyers in the market. That's a price that's important to us because at this point, we would be selling the stock. So once the bid is greater than, again, study, search for Bollinger Bands, greater than the upper band, the robot would sell. Hit save. And again, we want to add the RSI as a second opinion to reinforce the notion that the price of this stock is at a point that is unusually high. Add condition. Hit study, RSI. And because we want to sell the stock, when the market has overbought the stock, we want RSI to be greater than value. Change this to 70. Or hit save, my apologies. And then hit OK. All right. Now hit save. And the last piece is defining the stop loss. <clears throat> so again, to reiterate, when you buy a stock, its price ideally will go up, but sometimes it'll go down. You want to make sure that you nip bad trades in the bud and minimize your losses as much as you can. And that's how you can ensure that you're consistently making money. So I'm going to program the robot to sell the stock if it drops more than 5%. So click this until you see a percentage sign, so right here, and then change this to minus five. And again, we want the stop loss to be in force until it's actually utilized. So change this from day to GTC, good to close as well. And I don't want to buy 100 Twitter stocks, I just want to buy one. So change this to one. And Here, what we want to do is make sure that the robot knows to, sh to sell 100% of the stocks we own once it hits the selling conditions that we've set. So click this until you see a percentage and good, negative 100. And also if it hits the stop loss, which is this selling condition, we want to make sure that it sells 100% of the stocks we own. And that's, that's fully up to you. If you want your trading robot to sell Half of the stocks you own, once they reach a certain condition, you can just change this to minus 
but I always, I always, but I always sell everything once the selling condition is met. So what I want to do now is save this trading robot with all the criteria and conditions that I've set so that I don't have to re-enter those every time I want to set up a trading bot for a stock. And I can simply apply the same criteria to any other stock I want to create a trading robot for. So hit save over here, save custom order template. And so I can call this Bollinger RSI custom setup robot. Title longer than necessary, I know. And then hit save. And then confirm and hit send. And my order has been placed. So what this will do is scan Twitter's stock price perpetually so, th so that when both of the conditions we've set are met, the price drops beneath this purple band and the RSI, which is indicated down here, drops below 30. It will automatically buy a Twitter stock. And then once it rises above the red band, as well as posting an RSI above 70, so being in this red zone here, it will automatically sell that stock. So this is a very passive way to trade because once it's set up, you don't need to monitor the price movement. The robot will do that every second throughout the day, every day on your behalf. And passive is good because you got to do. Thank you very much. I hope this information impacts your life as much as it's impacted mine. I'll see you next time. Take care.